Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today we're gonna get ready together. I'm excited. So I'm just gonna use some, just a bunch of products. I never really do like, just like chit chat, get ready with me's. I always am like focused on the products. I'm gonna kind of try to do both. We're gonna see how this goes. But um, first thing I've been doing for the past month is I'm using um, some sort of oil or serum or something. Uh, I've been obsessed with, I'm like down to here already, I'm like, oh, uh, the May Love Glow Maker Serum. I'm actually um, so in love with this that I'm in talks to maybe do a sponsorship with them and that's exciting. And like to me, if, ooh, ooh, um, I'm, I know I'm being cheap. This is what I get. This is what I get for trying to be like cool, like Instagram-y, drip it onto my face because you all just saw that it's now all over my lap. I think that's a cool way to kind of happen upon a sponsorship is falling in love with the product and you know talking with the company and figuring all of that out after already loving it. That's what I try to do here on my channel. I just really like this stuff. It's really thin. It's got like vitamin C, E, um, and a bunch of other stuff. But those are the two things. I just feel like my skin always just like sucks it up and my skin always looks super hydrated every day that I put this on. So I've been using this a lot this past month. So I have a lot of new products. I've got high-end drugstore, so it's gonna be a mixed bag. Um, I'm torn because, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I have two super expensive products. I went crazy on Beautylish recently because there were so many products I've been wanting to try. Um, one of them being the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Gorgeous, basically primer. It comes with a big old doe foot. And um, I have put it all over my face and then put foundation. It looks gorgeous and glowy. I've also put it just in like highlighty regions and like under my eye. Also looks gorgeous. So I'm really loving this, but this one's a little bit newer. I mean, I got them at the same time, but I haven't used this one as much. It's from Jouer. It's their Luminizing Moisture Tint Sunscreen. And it's got a broad spectrum SPF of 20 oil-free, fragrance-free. I'm gonna just put this on all over the face. I have worn this alone, but it's not my favorite for every single day because it is super moisturizing or luminizing. So if you are someone that is uh, oily skinned, I don't think you'll like this. But if you're normal to dry, I really like it. But again, I prefer to put something on top of it. So I'll show you what I mean. So just a squeezy tube. Um, and I've just been kind of it, it looks as though it's almost like a um, tinted moisturizer, and I think that's the idea. But it's very um, low coverage, very luminizing. I do think it's pretty. Isn't it kind of pretty? I'll even pat some on my under eye. I do think that it does this like, I don't know where it just catches the light so nicely that once it sits on my skin for a minute or two, I'm sorry, I know I'm looking at the viewfinder. Since this camera is new to me, I don't know if I said that, I'm using a new camera. I feel like it's, I'm trying to make sure everything's good. I'm gonna try to not look at it, but um, it's very, very glowy. So I have gone out with just this once and I felt like it did kind of even my skin out in certain ways. It's not like flawless, but I really do like this. So I could see myself even traveling with this, liking it enough to bring it with me. I'm gonna try out this Burt's Bees Goodness Glows. This is newer at the drugstore. I've used it once or twice. I just don't know how I feel about it. I've heard some people absolutely hate this. So um, I haven't felt that way yet, but we're gonna try. So what I'm gonna do is apply it with my hands first, cause I've been obsessed with doing that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use a sponge to kind of blend out certain areas that maybe didn't blend as easily with my fingers. So I have it in the shade 101 Ivory. And it's got a pump, which I think is really nice. I'm gonna start with kind of like one and a half pumps. Just kind of, oh my gosh, I think it's too light. I don't remember. It was like last week that I used this a couple times. I think it was, but like in the end, it ended up working out. It does kind of have an odd smell. I can't really, this is way too light, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's happening to me? I'm gonna start like actually blending. But see, you can see how that primer, I mean, I'm sure the foundation, it's kind of glowy too, so it kind of helps, but that luminizing tint underneath is it looks nice, like it does come through. Oh my gosh, this is too light, but that's okay. Um, I'm saying that though, and maybe it's not. Once I actually blend it, I'm kind of seeing that <laughs> I am pretty fair. It's kind of got a sticky feel to it. So I think that it's 
light to medium coverage. Now, I mean, I feel like I don't have a lot of imperfections to cover right now. I haven't had like any big breakouts or anything. So I feel like if I did, you'd definitely be able to see them. You can see a little bit of redness on my cheeks. Now to me, that's a level that I actually kind of like because I feel like it just looks kind of rosy and it looks nice and like, like real skin. Here's the thing. This is kind of pricey for drugstore. If I were to recommend a drugstore foundation, the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundations, just about the same price range wise, I like this better. They both have very light coverage, so it's nothing that different than what you're seeing here, but I feel like this is still kind of glowy and brightening, but it's just easier to work with. It's not quite that same sticky feeling, and this really does have kind of a smell. I don't know, it's weird, although I feel like this kind of yeah, the Physicians Formula one kind of has a strong smell too. So smell-wise, um, maybe this is not too bad. But um, yeah, I can't, I could foresee myself decluttering this eventually. I don't know that I love it enough. Now, I want to keep playing with it. I always do updates. In fact, I'm filming a haul update for another video today as well. Um, so I'm definitely going to do an update on all of these to let you know, you know, as I used it more. I think it's okay. I don't think it's terrible, but it's not a favorite of mine. So I have a lot of Flower Beauty products because I know I wasn't alone. I've already mentioned this once, but that Drew Barrymore, she's been on like a bunch of people's channels now. And I, and by a bunch, I mean, I've seen her on Nikki tutorials and uh, Tati's, but regardless, it reminded me about Flower Beauty. And I was like, they use products that I'm like, I've never tried that. I want to try that. So I ended up placing an order on Ulta like uh, minutes after watching the videos. But this is one that I was like, holy moly, I've used this every day for about a week and a half now. It is the Flower Beauty concealer whatever they call it, but it's their light illusion, full coverage concealer, full coverage, disagree, beautiful coverage. Let me rephrase beautiful finish. Yes. So, um, it's a very like thin, let me fix my mirror. Um, thinner concealer, but I love like color wise. It's not that much lighter than my skin tone. This is the shade L one, two fair. So I've just been blending it in with my ring finger. And then again, with a brush or whatever, once I've kind of gotten most of it blended in and just kind of spreading it out, I'll put it on the lid as well. This does settle into fine lines. As I always say, I've never found a concealer that doesn't, but it's so pretty and bright. And I just really, really like this, like a lot. And I'm not getting nearly as much sleep as a new mom. So I feel like anything that I can use to cover the bag slash really just brighten the area more than anything I am all in for. But yeah, I think that looks so nice. Like look at the difference there versus there. I feel like this looks, I mean, you can still see I've got fine lines. I'm going to have to set it most likely because it is not super emollient, but it definitely, like I said, settles. So you do need to either deal with the fact that it's going to settle or actually set it with something but I don't feel like this ever gets too weird. This might be one of my favorite concealers. Okay, I will tell you this, this is kicking, you know that Ulta concealer I love, the Ulta full coverage? This kicks that one's butt. I like this one so much more. It's got better coverage, but it's just as easy to blend and that's why I liked that one. That one was more of like a whipped consistency. This one's a lot lighter, but it's moisturizing. It's not like drying, like the Urban Decay, that new one, the All Nighter concealer that came out like the last year, um, that one was very thin, but it was very drying. This one is thin and very moisturizing. So the next product I'm using is from NARS. They actually sent this to me. Most of this stuff I bought, like literally I've got a giant pile. These are all things I bought, but this might be the only thing I'm showing that was sent to me, but I just wanted to try it. I've tried it once before and I, I guess what I want to say is I wanted to show it to you for a reason. So it's the NARS, um, brow perfector. I'm using the shade Atacama which is the dark brown cool. So they've got warm ones, cool ones, uh, which I think is really nice because when you are looking for a cool tone brown, br well, yeah, brown, but for your brow, it's annoying when you grab like medium brown and it's very red tone or vice versa. So if you're looking for more red tone and it's really cool. So I really like that they have named them according to their undertones. But um, this is a very, just a fine tipped little, brow pencil. There's a million of these out in the market, tons of them from the drugstore that are just fine. They're really good. Um, and that's really why I wanted to show you this. I like this. I'll use it up. 
but I wouldn't repurchase it because, again, I think there's a million of these at the drugstore. NYX makes a great micro brow pencil that's like the exact same thing for much, much cheaper. I can link below. But I wanted to show it to you anyway. I am seeing that I have not blended that concealer. Oh, Jessica. Does anyone ever get this feeling in the summertime where, and I get this every summer, not just because I just had a kid, but like, I get like this every summer where I feel like, oh geez, I haven't spent enough time outside. I need to enjoy the summer more. But then like, we've got a beautiful back porch. It's like 90 degrees out. So I'm like, well, I don't want to sit out there. It's too hot. But then summer's gone and I'm like, dang it, what happened? Why didn't I enjoy it and sit out on the porch? And I'm like, well, yeah, cause it's like 90 degrees and then it hits fall and then it's cold. And in the fall, I'm like, well, let's go to the pumpkin patch. I don't want to sit on the porch. Like, I feel like I'm never fully enjoying seasons. Does that make sense? And then that season's gone, you're like, no, but then winter comes and winter's fun for December and then January hits and you're like, well, this sucks. Anyone else feel me on that though? Like you feel like you try so hard to appreciate everything in life and time just flies and you're like, what happened? Like the fact that I'm gonna be 30 next year is insane to me. Not that that's like scary and I know that it's not like anyone older than 30 is like, oh, please, it's not old, I know that. But like, you know, when you're a kid and you think about, and I think that's what bothers a lot of us about age, when you turn certain ages, because when you're a kid, you think like, oh wow, 30's old, or oh wow, 40, 50's old, or uh, oh wow, 25, 21 is old. I'll never be that age. It's just wild that I feel like I <laughs> could still be in college. I don't know. That's not even that long ago, I guess. So I guess with this, like I said, I think it's nice. I think the color is actually, it's actually different than the color I usually do. I do think I usually go a little warmer almost with my Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil because I use the shade Ash. It's kind of, I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's okay. It's nice. I feel like nowadays brow pencils can be done anywhere really well. I told you I went on my flower beauty kick. I bought their Light Illusion Powder. It's okay. I don't even know that I want to use it. I did buy their setting spray though, cause they were talking about the mister and I was like, what? It is really nice. So I'll, if I remember, I'll put that on at the end, but okay. Why can't I remember what I do next? I'm literally like struggling to think like, I'm like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> what? Okay, here's perfect proof that the concealer creases. I put concealer on my lid all of the time, all of the time. And this very rarely happens that obviously. Um, now, is that a big deal? No, because I'm gonna put primer on, you know, but, um, just again, another note, you have to set this concealer, which actually I need to do. Now here's something I realized, and I don't wanna put it on because it's gonna ruin the look. I repurchased the Bare Minerals Well Rested Mineral Concealer. Insanely high coverage, like insanely high coverage for a mineral powder. And that's the thing about Bare Minerals. People think, oh, I was watching Emily Noel's video and she was talking about how, about Bare Minerals. I just assume you guys know what, what video I'm talking about. You probably do. <laughs> Anyway, and she was talking about how bare minerals can have insane coverage, and it's so true. So look at that. That is a mineral, just loose powder. It's so high coverage. But the problem is I'm realizing that this is way too yellow and light for my skin. I put it on the other day and I was like, how did I wear this? I still don't know how I wore it. And I don't think it's changed at all. I think it's always been this kind of yellow. Um, I think I could put it on with a light hand and maybe make it work. I think I was a little heavy handed when I did it the other day. I was gonna say shocker, but I'm usually pretty light-handed because I like neutral looks. I know what I wanna do next. I want to use this. This product has changed my world just a little bit. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's expensive, but guys, it's very different and I've not tried anything like this. And that is exciting to me. I'm like, if I'm gonna spend the money, I want it to be on something that's rocking my world, like totally changing the way I do something. So uh, it's the Hollywood Contour Wand. It is, I of course have it in fair medium. So you just pop the lid off. It's a squeezy tube and you, um, oh you can, yeah, you can open it and be able to squeeze it so it comes off into the sponge. I've heard some people don't like this applicator. I'm like, what? This is what's amazing about it to me because I can, this is like way too much. Hold on. Okay. I can just do this with it don't worry, it looks really dark. This is why this product is unbelievable. So I'm gonna take a damp sponge, any sponge, and I'm just gonna kind of press it in, okay? When in doubt, stamp it out. <laughs> I didn't know what, where I was going with that. 
Look at that. Done. It looks so natural. I'm like genuinely like my heart's a flutter because this I mean, come on, you can't get like, let me rephrase. Other people can get this with the powder. I have to work really hard for it to look this just like natural and nice. And that's why I don't really contour. Cause I'm like, hey, who really cares? Like, it's just not my style to do it every single day. But if I've got this, I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, who's that girl? So I'm acting crazy. <laughs> I'm just excited to be filming. I can only film every so often. So when I do, I'm like, I get to talk to people, kind of. I feel like I'm talking to you guys. You guys know that struggle though. If, you're, if you've ever had your life like totally change where you don't have as much free time as you're used to. So like for me, that was having a kid. Doesn't that look nice? Like it's definitely contour, but it doesn't look like powdery. This is the second Charlotte Tilbury product. There's a lot I'm loving. And that scares me because they're expensive. But again, and I've heard a lot of you guys say it, I know it's not in everyone's budget. Trust me, I know that. This was nowhere near my budget just a few years ago. But if you can afford it, this and her powder, oh my gosh, I'll link the powder. It's what I love to set my under eyes with. Maybe that's what I'll use. Let me show it to you. Um, I'm actually doing a whole update on this powder. So. Um, it's her airbrush flawless finish. This is the best powder period, but I don't use it all over my face. I just use it on my under eyes because I don't really use powder all over my face all the time. But um, it's so, again, insanely high coverage, a lot more forgiving for my skin tone. That's the Bare Minerals one. I just, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna get rid of those, what's sunk into those fine lines. And I'll usually just kind of fluff, 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 fluff it out. Look at the difference. Do you see the difference? Am I just crazy? Um, now, the first question I'm gonna get from you guys, because I would be asking the same thing if I were watching the video, would be, does it ever cake up and look cra crepey? If you put a crazy amount on, of course. But I feel like I put a decent amount on and it looks the nicest any powder has ever looked on my under eye. Because not only does it set that, but it brightens it just enough, but not so much again that you look like you're trying way too hard. I love this so freaking much. I'm going to hit pan on it soon, I can tell. So I'm like, okay, Jessica, use the outer edges. Um, so good. So anyway, Beautylish, both of these, Frankly, I really like that Hollywood Flawless filter too, but again, I'm like, why do I have to love all these things that are so expensive? But again, that's my job to tell you what's amazing out there and it is amazing. All right, we are gonna use this powder. This is from Wander Beauty. It's their Wanderlust Powder Foundation. I very rarely hop on Sephora and order one item. I just like order it, send it to me, that's it. This might be the only time I've ever done that because I saw a video, I'm gonna show you. I saw a video on Facebook or something where they did this. They took, first of all, I think the packaging is really pretty. It's this really pretty color. It has the puff and then a clear little lid there. So what they did, I've clearly done it, you can tell, is they took the powder, okay, and they did this. Oh, I don't wanna cover that contour. What order am I doing my makeup in? I'll do it like right here so I don't hit that. And I was like, what? Can you guys even see that? It like completely wipes out the color of that area. I'll try to do it again. Maybe I'll do it on my forehead. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that. It like fills pores, fixes any discoloration you have. Like it's insane. So <laughs> I'm digging this. This is for you if you, cause you can still see a little bit of life through it. Maybe not. Um, this is for you if you are picky about powder. I am very picky. I don't, like I've been saying, I don't use it very often cause I don't, it just makes my skin look dry and kind of gross and older. And um, I love my It Cosmetics one, but this is a lot more matte. So if that one was a little bit too, it's the Celebration Foundation Illumination. I've got to stop assuming you know what I mean. Um, 
That's one of my favorites. I'll put a picture of it on the screen here. But if that's a little bit too illuminating for you, this guy. Love it. This is going to be a very long video. You're welcome to those that like it, and I'm so sorry to those that don't. Okay, so for blush, I've fallen in love. This is still new to me. It's the Burt's Bees Blush. I have it in the shade Shy Pink. I love this packaging. I don't know how to describe it, so it's just plastic. But it's this cute shape, which is just fun and different, but it's still super thin. But then, when you, like it clasps shut, and it's just cute. Like, I love that it indents. I don't know how to explain it. I just really like it. Like, a lot. So I want to get other shades, but then I'm like, Jessica, do you really need other shades? You've got what you need to be able to review this. So my review is, this blush is beautiful. It reminds me of the e.l.f. Studio blush formula, but maybe slightly better. Just really nice pigment to it. It lasts really, really well. I think I just put that on top of that. <laughs> Bare Minerals, but that, I mean, that is the color. So I've just been really enjoying it. Now it is a little bit pinker than I've been going lately. I usually am reaching for a peach, I'm realizing. Okay, hold on, <laughs> I have to say this. I've been, I blow on my makeup, you guys know that, and it drives some of you guys nuts. I'm like, it's my makeup, you know, whatever. But um, I've been laughing because when I did that video of uh, the number one thing that beauty gurus do that YouTube or that viewers hate, where it was just, I was reading a bunch of your guys' big pet peeves. I will link that up in the cards right now. I was cracking up reading more of your guys' pet peeves afterwards, like you guys were tweeting me more, and I was cracking up. One of them, and I never realized it kind of bothers me too, is when YouTubers do this. And there are a lot of people that do it. And I I can't say anything because I blow on mine. I do, I have so many bad habits. Done a video on that too, link below. Okay, that was a bad habit. Anyway. But I never realized that one person said, where is all that powder going? Is it going like all over their carpet? Like I can only imagine the buildup. I'm like, I've never thought about that. Cause I always take my little washcloth I have um, and I just kind of dab it on there. Anyway, let's put the blush on Jessica. That's like all you need. It almost can be too much. If you're not a, if you're a dumb dumb like me, it will, it will be too much. I do like it though. I do, see now I kinda wanna get the peach one. I know that, um, is it Kathleen Lights that loves the like cinnamon one? It's called something like that. Um, I think that's gonna be too like brownie for me. I don't know. Um, I'm going all out of order because now I want to use this. I bought way too much Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like I should do a full face of it, but I'm basically doing that right now. Um, it's that classic uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow. I wanna show this to you guys because it's expensive. It is. It just is. Um, so I'm going to put this contour. What do I want to use here? Um, the sculpt. I'm just, I guess really it's just going to end up setting it. Now, I don't usually do both that contour wand and this. I'd rather just do the contour wand. But for the sake of this video, and of course you can put the powder on because it would kind of set that. And that's uh, best practice. <laughs> Where my teach is at? I think best practice could be used in any career though, but. Um, so it's just kind of a gray toned. I probably should have put this on before the blush. I think it's nice. It's not bad. It reminds me of the Kevin Aquan like medium powder, but it's a little bit more bronzy colored. So I really could, I guess I could put it, uh, let me get a fluffier brush though. I can put it up maybe like near my hairline a little bit. I just did it. Oh, Jessica, You're starting a new bad habit. This brush, by the way, I love for bronzer. It's the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder. Uh, number eight, I really like this. I wish It Cosmetics brushes weren't so expensive. Um, they send a lot of them to me and I fall in love with them and then I look them up because I'm like, ooh, I want to have like more than one so I can wash and then I'm like, uh, never mind. But if I ever lost this, I would buy it again despite the price because it's, it's, it's just perfectly like fluffy and I don't know why, but I like that it's like short. Anyway, so you can see it kind of bronzed up the face, just a tinge. Now this highlight, I can't decide how I feel about it. There it is there next to that. I don't know, I need to, again, I've only used it a couple times, so I just don't really know how I feel about it. I wanna use a better brush though. I'm gonna use this uh, Delium Tools Golden Triangle 945. This is like my favorite line of brushes of all time. They're so good. Okay, 
anyway, actually that looks really nice. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I used it the other day and I used my Anastasia highlighting brush, the A23, and I was like, it looked so bad. I think I don't really like this shape of brush as I've used it for months and months. Um, it's nice to get like a really specific highlight, but I don't necessarily like that because I usually just kind of go like I just did, but somehow it like looks nice. Because I don't really go for the crazy highlighters. I mean, I guess this is, this looks nice actually. Okay, well, now I know. I like to dust whatever's left just kind of up here sloppily because it just somehow always catches the light nicely. So it's nice, but do I really think you need to spend the money? Probably not. Now I own this, it's still nice. I'm gonna use the heck out of it, but you can get similar products. You can certainly find amazing highlights at the drugstore. And then contour wise, you know, if this shade is right up your alley, like it, it is a nice shade if you're near my skin tone, um, then you might, if you've got a gift card or you're just like wanting to splurge and you've been obsessed with, I mean, the packaging, come on. She's like the queen of amazing packaging. We're gonna do the CoverGirl Peach Punch palette. I wanna do maybe like a peach palette showdown soon. I always hesitate because I'm like, I feel like everyone's already talked about all this, but I keep forgetting like sometimes like for me, I'll see reviews of certain palettes up from YouTubers and I'm like, I don't really love that YouTuber so I won't watch it. But then when my favorite YouTubers upload it, I would watch it anytime, even if it was three months after it came out. So I've got to keep in mind that like, my opinion might still be valuable to some of you guys, even when it's way after the fact. Cause a lot of times I already own it and I'm like, well, I don't really need it. I'm like, well, Jessica, you spent the money. You might as well share your thoughts. So how if you heal me? I'm going to use an old fave, the Catrice Prime and Fine. I don't have a new primer. Um, it's like a brightening kind of white base. It reminds me of the Smashbox white lid primer or the, um, actually no, that is what it reminds me of. Cause I was gonna say it reminds me of the NARS, like their classic eyeshadow primer, but that one's not quite as brightening. And I think this one is a lot more similar to, more akin to the Smashbox lid primer in white, which I also love, but I do think they're dupes. I mean, so anyway, I love this Catrice one. Isn't it nice? So you see how it just kind of Brighten the area, canceled some stuff out, and it does a great job holding on to shadow. And it's like around five, six bucks. Now that we are primed, I have used this a couple times. I posted on my Instagram about this shade right here. I think it's so, so pretty. It's just like a kind of bronzy color, but it looks really, really nice alone on your lid. Like that's all I wore the few times um, I've used this. <laughs> that's not true. There was. No, probably only one time I've used other shades. I was watching a video the other day and it was a woman cleaning out her bathroom. And um, she's not a beauty YouTuber. I honestly don't even know how I like stumbled upon her. But I really, anyway, she was doing like a KonMari clean out of her bathroom and I love watching declutter videos. And so I uh, was watching it and she got to her makeup and she was cleaning that out. She was pulling it all out and looking at it and she had a normal amount of makeup. She literally had one palette, one mascara, one eyeliner, like maybe a couple lipsticks and lip glosses. And, and the thing that really got to me, and I know some of you guys are gonna understand this unless you're not obsessed with beauty and YouTube like I am and like a lot of you guys are, but she, the one palette she had, like the lid was missing, it was all a mess. You could tell she used the crap out of it. And I thought, I can't even remember that time. Like, it's kind of sad to me. Like, I'm being genuine here. <laughs> like, I wasn't being genuine before. But, like, it's kind of sad to me that, like, I can't even remember a time. I remember one time sitting on my floor getting ready when I lived with my parents a long time ago. And I had this Smashbox trio. And that was the only eyeshadow I owned. And I was, like, ecstatic that it was Smashbox. I got some kind of weird deal on it. I used every single shade in that little trio all the way until they were gone. What a concept. And now I'm like, I have so many palettes, I don't, I'm not even close to hitting pan on any of them. And it's just like, wouldn't it be amazing to just go down to just one palette, one? And I'm like, I could do it, but then I wouldn't be doing my job. But it's, I love the thought. Like, that's why when I do my curating my collection, I get rid of like, like I keep like 10 lipsticks and get rid of like 400. It's such an amazing feeling because I feel like I'm hearkening back to that time. It's not that I'm not gonna be getting new stuff in from PR and I'll still be buying things to review, but it's just keeping that cycle going of, I don't need to keep 500 lipsticks, you know? 
Anywho, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this kind of peachy color just kind of in my crease. Um, I also got some new brushes. This I have Samantha Ravendahl to blame. She talks so highly of, this, of the Smith brushes. And so when I was buying those Charlotte Tilbury things, I had to buy some Smith Cosmetics brushes or whatever they're called, Smith brushes. So I bought this uh, 232, which is like a really fluffy one. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda, oh, I got the pink on it. That is the one downside. You gotta be kinda careful with, really with any palette. I can't even like say it's this palette's fault. <laughs> so I'm just kinda focusing that in the crease sloppily as I do. It really means a lot to me when you guys are like, I know Jessica, you're not a makeup artist and you don't like to do tutorials, but I wish you'd show us more of your eye looks. It actually means a lot to me. So my way of showing you my eye looks is through Get Ready With Me's, because really, I don't branch out that much. Um, I just don't. It's I, I think I will, um, if I haven't shared this with you guys, I'm actually taking next year off of teaching. My district is amazing, and they'll give you basically a year, it's a, called a sabbatical, but a year off where, you know, obviously I'm not paid, um, but they'll basically save my position at that school, so they'll have a one-year long-term sub, in for me for this entire school year and then I can come back if I want next year so the plan is to come back next year but I'm excited to have this time just with my daughter but also to see like what is it like to do YouTube full-time because that will be what I'm kind of experimenting with I love teaching so much I can't imagine leaving I was cleaning out my classroom and I was like I genuinely had tears in my eyes um because it is it's weird it's like the end of an era but I'm like well I can just come back next year like in a year, but it's still like, but if I really like doing YouTube full-time, Yuletide, <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, so that's kind of my experiment is what I'm, I'm saying. So, okay, that really didn't do anything at all, which actually that tells me I could put that all over my lid if I wanted to kind of set it, because it, it's a little bit peachy. It's not like as light as the Wet n' Wild Brulee shadow, but I could really kind of set the whole primer with that if I want. I feel like this is looking a little crazy. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try, I wanna use this like pretty kind of peachy shade there. This is another Smith brush, the 230. Um, it's kind of shimmery, that's one gripe I have with this palette is that they all have, not all, but a lot of them have this like kind of shimmer to them even when they appear matte. Maybe it's more of a satin, but they have this shimmer. Now, the reality is once I'm putting it on my eyes, it's not obvious, you know, like, it's just not, but I still, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so smell wise, I haven't talked much about the smell of this. I do feel like it is very peachy in a very good way. Like it's a good peach smell. I really like it. I like the Too Faced peach smell though too. I just realized I was talking about doing a peach palette showdown. I don't even own the Too Faced peach palette anymore. I have the white peach. That's not the same. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do the drugstore peach palette showdown because everyone knows about the Too Faced peach palette. So why not just do the two drugstore ones? Because the other drugstore one, BT Dubs, is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted. Let me show it to you. This is what it looks like. Um, again, it's got that peachy smell. This one has way less peachy tones than this one though, right? Well... Now that I'm saying that, really, there's only like two peach tones in both. And I get it. It's, you know, you want it to still be wearable. And I'm sure, I don't like the peach smell of these L'Oreal things, though. And here's the, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. These blushes, I have all four. L'Oreal sent all of these to me. That's why I'm not really including them in this. These smell like cat pee to me. I don't know how else to say it. I know that may be crude to some but that is exactly what it smells like to me. And I don't know how else to explain that. It just smells like cat pee. It's definitely peachy, but it's so strong. It's almost like, I don't know how to explain it. I hope I'm not alone. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Because it's a very strong peachy scent, but there's something, there's like a tinge of it in there and that's all I can smell. I feel that peach shave is actually really nice. I feel like I could maybe blend it out a little bit more. I'm gonna get some on the bigger brush and kind of blend it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna use my favorite shade right here on the lid. I just like to use my finger. Um, it's, like I said, just a really pretty bronzy shade. It does kick up a little bit of powder. 
it's not that big of a deal really because it's not the kind of powder that ends up going here. It just kind of ends up like in a ball on your eyelid and you just kind of blend it in. Does that make sense? Jessica, you gotta stop saying, does that make sense? I say that because it's from the teacher part of me, you know? I'm constantly wondering if my kids understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so, there that is. I don't know. I feel like this is a nice palette. But if you already have anything that looks like this, you don't need it. You don't need any of these if you already. That may be just a life lesson. I'm going to use this deep brown here. Um, and I'm using a really expensive brush, the Marc Jacobs, the crease brush. It's one of my favorites, actually, not necessarily for the crease, but for the outer corner. What shows are you guys watching right now? I just caught up with The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> just, <laughs> whoa, that show, whoa. What else? I'm still working through This Is Us. I literally forgot about it because I had watched all of season one before having Genevieve, and then I had her, and I completely forgot to start, se start season two. So um, I had other things on my mind, can you believe it? So I just started season two. I mean, I already know what happens because my brother freaking ruined it for me. Now, how I got through this world without it being ruined for me a thousand years ago, I have no idea. But he officially ruined it for me. So so I'm finishing This Is Us still. It's hard. You guys know. A lot of people like quit watching it because it's too emotional. It really is. But I watch it a lot like when it's middle of the night um, feeding her. I'll just pop it on for a little bit. Um, anyway... What else am I watching right now? Does anyone watch the Celebrity Match Game? We watch that from time to time, we like it. Okay, this look is so boring. I feel like I'm looking, I'm like, yep. That is a Jessie look. I just feel like there's no like pop. So here, okay. <laughs> this might not go with the look. We're gonna do it anyway. We might have to deepen the crease if we go this far. Another new product I got is the Tarte, okay, new to me. The Tarte Chrome Paint in Top Yacht. How you even heard of these? How is that even possible? Everyone's talking about them and I've like never heard of them. So it's a pressed pigment basically. Um, and it reminds me of, what just happened to my throat? It reminds me of um, the L'Oreal ones, the infallible shadows. Oh, I have to like literally wipe some off. Okay, so it's crazy gold. What other shade should I get in this? I feel like I should get another one. So I'm just gonna pop some off and I'm just gonna kind of I haven't even used this yet. Do I go ham and just go crazy? Maybe. Obviously you can spray your brush and go ham with it. Like, I mean, there's a million things you can do with it. And if you really wanted it to stand out, you could put like a, uh, paint pot under it or like a concealer, like, you know, people do with the cut crease. Well, that does a great job of holding on to any shadow and really making it pop, so. I have not done a cut crease ever. Is that crazy? How many of you guys have tried this cut crease? I mean, obviously it's a trend that's been around for a hot minute now, but I've still never tried it. I feel like if I try it, I should film it, but you guys are gonna laugh at me like trying it, but maybe that'll be the fun. Like, let's all laugh together and try the cut crease. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna go back in with that like peachy tone and my fluffy brush and just make this work together. We've got to work, work, work things out, make things right. I don't know that those are the words. Anyone know what that's from? Oh, if you know what that's from, you're my friend. Don't fall this, there's just no shimmer to just like punch you in the face. Now, do I even wear that all the time? No, but I do like a good shimmer and I just don't feel like any of these like scream that. And that's why I like using it for single shadows. So just putting that on the lid, just putting this shade on the lid. There's like a nice kind of almost eggplanty shade on the lid. You know, so you need to know what your taste is, which you all know your own taste. So that's something to keep in mind when looking at this. Chrome paint, I like. It's not as, how do I put this into words? It's not as great as I thought it would be. 
Like, I think it's nice. And I might try another shade. I think I just need to try it. Maybe I'll try it with a wet brush. Let's just do this. So I'm gonna use the Delium Tools uh, 934. It's Precision Concealer. Oh well. Um, so we're gonna try this again, and we're gonna try it by getting some on the brush. I almost feel like I have to wet it and then get more because it doesn't, this brush is not like picking up. So I'm just gonna use that flower setting spray I had. And I'm gonna like get some more. Oh, the magic. Oh, should have wet it again. It's getting everywhere. Yeah, the mister on that Flower Beauty stuff is really, really nice. I don't know why I don't wet brushes more often because it really does help with the fallout. It's not like it's that much more work. I just, I don't know, I just don't do it. Whoa, okay, I like that a lot more. I can't wait to get some eyeliner on this mess. Um, so let's pat a little bit of a darker color kind of where that meets the outer shade. Let's do this like bronze here, the second from the end, and I'm just gonna kind of start it at the end and pat it inward. Actually, <laughs> Kind of nice. Woohoo! I'm gonna take that same kind of, oh no, that's not the color. Bronzy color I was just using and kind of use it more. I'm actually digging that color a lot. It's darker, it looks lighter in the pan than it is in real life. It actually goes on much darker, but it's pretty. That's one of the freaking winners, me. So my friend is coming to town this weekend. Now, when I'm filming this, it probably has already happened by the time this goes up. But one of my best friends is coming to town this weekend. We're getting our nails done. And you guys know, I very rarely get my nails done. But now that I'm a mom, I'm like, I need like something to make me feel feminine, please. So I'm so excited. And we're trying dipped nails. Has anyone tried that? I'm so excited. Apparently there's a salon near where I live that does them very well. I'll be the judge of that. Um, no, I'm sure they really do. I don't know that much about nails, but I'm so excited. Just A, to have my nails done, but excited to try that. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys asked about this. This is the NYX uh, keeping it, always keeping it tight black eyeliner. It's super thin. I think it might be a dupe for my uh, hourglass one that I love that's like a 1.5 millimeter, but it's expensive compared to this. I really like this. It's not as creamy as I typically would like, um, like I feel like I it, when I first got it it was but now I have to kind of work at it but frankly it's still really nice so if you've had your eyes on the hourglass one honestly it's the same thing because you can get really in tight now if you have the money I do prefer the hourglass one over it because again it's so creamy so I can just go like this and tight line without having to pull on my eye I know bad habit um, also, I have Fallout City all over my face. Was anyone gonna tell me or? <laughs> I'm very needy. So when I say tight line, I mean like fully thick, totally lining my eyes. This video is so long. Why are you guys still watching? This next product is new to me, but I've already, I think I've already hauled it. It's the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Fluid Line in Black Track. I freaking love it. Here's the thing, MAC prices are not that crazy when you start seeing how drugstore prices have creeped up so much. Like MAC is, you're almost hitting MAC prices. Like a MAC lipstick is what, $14? There are lipsticks at the drugstore that are 12, 12 dollars I'm like, might as well get a like nicer brand if you've never tried a MAC lipstick. Now, kind of weird that that's the example I give because I don't love MAC lipstick formula, but you guys get my drift, right? Um, anyway, okay. So, oh, I'm using another new brush. It's the Smith 205. It's nice. <laughs> I like this eyeliner because it's thick, but also creamy and super black. So it's like, it's just good. My other favorite is the one from L'Oreal. I feel like these are very, very similar, very similar. I think this one's a little creamier than L'Oreal's, but it doesn't really matter because they both apply easily. So it's not like one is necessarily worse than the other. 
but I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna use two different mascaras because I'm so high maintenance. Not really. Um, I mean, I really am gonna use two, but I don't think this is that high maintenance. I'm using the Monsieur Big on my upper lash line, but I just recently opened, I had a backup of this, the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara, and I love that on the lower lash line. It is so nice. So I'm gonna comb through my lashes. And I'm gonna curl them and we're gonna mascara it up. I think I'm just gonna not put any shadow or line or anything on my lower lash line. I freaking love this mascara. That's all. <laughs> and I didn't like it when I first opened it. So now I'm using the lash discovery on the lower lash line. Um, I didn't like it when I first um, opened it. I think it took like a week or two to get to the right, I don't know, wetness. That word gross anyone out? It doesn't gross me out, but does it gross you out? It's like the word moist. <laughs> Just doing it to mess with you guys. Um, but the lash discovery I love because it's so, whoops, it's so, the brush is very tiny. You can discover all your lashes. I have far too many lip products to try out, <laughs> like four, um, which is far too many. But I wanna show you all of them. So I bought the Chrissy Teigen new lip gloss. It's a little bit, Oh, what do you say? Uh, it's their Glow Gloss and Beach Bump. It's a little bit brown for me. I'm the dum dum that bought it, so I have only myself to blame. Um, I'm, I think I might still like it. I put it on the other day and I was like, mm. um, now, but I have more exciting products. This I've been using for a while and it is amazing. I might put it on and then wipe it off to put on the other things, but I wanna show it to you. It's the Dose of Color lip, Colors Lip Gloss. The shade is Messy Bun. Why does that name appeal to me so much? I love it, I love that it's called Messy Bun. I'm like, yeah, I'm just throwing on some gloss with my Messy Bun. Like that's exactly what I think in my head. This is my favorite lip gloss I've ever tried. And you guys know I do not say things like that lightly. Like when people say they're obsessed, I am obsessed with this. So let me just, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like the, first of all, it smells, it's the best smell I've ever smelled in my life. It's like this soft, creamy formula, has pigment, but it's not so much that you're like, ah, you know? Let me show you a swatch. I mean, I guess you're kind of like, ah, but it's, it's the best lip gloss I've ever tried. Like literally enough that I want to go and buy like 10 more shades of this gloss and I'm a huge declutterer, but I'm like, but I need every shade. It is so good. So I have worn this every single day since I bought it. There's no exaggeration. Every, okay, every day that I did makeup because there were certainly days I did not leave the house and I was not putting lip gloss on. I love it. I might put it back on for other videos today. We'll see. I want to show you a few other things. So I bought this. This is from Jouer. I bought it from Beautylish again. Um, it's in the shade Lychee. It's their lip cream. I put this on, let me just, let me just preface it. I put this on in the bathroom mirror when I got it, like it was like 11 at night. I put it on and I literally went for like 20 seconds. I couldn't believe this product. I, I can't, why are more people not talking about this? Okay. I wish you guys could feel what I'm feeling. I'm sure it doesn't look exciting to you. I can tell you that right now because I'm looking at the viewfinder. I'm like, it does not look. Um, this is, again, that same kind of a smell. Very vanilla-y. Like, it reminds me of, like, things I, like, vanilla lip gloss I used to use as a kid. But in the best way. But this is, like, the prettiest whipped formula. Oh. You'll never know this until you own it. <laughs> It is like the most comfortable matte looking lip color I've ever used. I used to love the Ofra formula, not compared to this. I'm trying to think of other like long wearing lip colors. This is so just whipped and wonderful and it smells like baked goods. It feels good to put on. Why have I not tried this till now? Anyway, I really like the shade Lychee too. So the other shade I got, and I'll just watch for you, is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Rose. 
Is it bad that when I see Rose, I want to say Rose when it definitely only says Rose? We are all so fancy. So it's a very thin, you know, you can kind of line your lips with it. Very similar color to what I have on, honestly. I probably could have used it with it. Um, I haven't used this yet. I'll have to, again, get back to you on that. But I just love this so much. That and the Dose of Colors lip gloss. I just had a great idea. We're going to put the Dose of Colors on top of it because, of course, we are. I took out my hair and I forgot to do the setting spray. Let's do this. So this is that Flower Beauty one, the Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. I was torn because they have like an illuminating one. They have, is it illuminating or hydrating? One of the two. Um, and I love that kind of thing, but I'm like, I've got a lot of those. I wanted to get more of like a legitimately set your face. You have to like get it close. Okay, that was no exaggeration. <laughs> That's how much it took to actually coat my face. So here's the kicker. With the nozzle, it's fantastic. However, you have to get it really close to actually like get it all over your face and you had to do as much as I just did to actually cover your face. So something to keep in mind. Now, that doesn't bother me because I, I enjoy using it and it actually smells amazing. It smells nice, um, but I really liked it. So this is the completed look, I zoomed you out, whoa. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, so what are the all-stars? The two lip products, A plus, all-stars to the max. Like both of them separately, together. I love them so much. Um, I really am, I the Jouer lip colors, I'm tempted to buy more, but I'm like, okay, I don't need that many long wearing lip colors. So I'm like, if I were to buy another, would it be another nude? I don't need another nude, maybe a red. The dose of colors, I'm. I'm buying another color, at least one more color in, maybe the next time I place an order. The shade Messy Bun and the, just the formula, it's the best lip gloss formula I've ever used. I'm not exaggerating there. It is the best I've ever used. Other standouts, the Burt's Bees Blush, I really, really like. The Charlotte Tilbury products, I really like. The standout from what's new to me is this contour stick. I love it. I really, 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 really love it. Um, and then this Jouer product, I'm really digging that and the Wonder, dang, and the Flower Beauty. A lot of favorites, a lot of favorites because I really like this concealer, you guys know that. The Wonder Beauty powder, I really do like. I will use this whole thing up, undoubtedly, and I'll probably buy it again. So I didn't shake the Flower Beauty thing up enough, apparently, and if you've ever done that with certain setting sprays, it ends up spraying like milk all over your face and you have like all these white dots. Anyway, the Jouer product, I really like. Again, this I feel like is akin to the Charlotte Tilbury. Frankly, they're also similar in price, so I think this one's a little bit cheaper, but they're very, very similar, so I like both of them. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was like the longest get ready with me that may be present on YouTube, but I just enjoyed sitting down with you guys and just talking and being dumb and whatever. So I hope you enjoyed as well. Let me know what are your favorite products right now? I'm wanting, obviously I'm in a mood to try new things, so what are your favorites? Like if you had to name one, one product. Doesn't have to be new, but just one product that you're like, this is the best product. Everyone needs to know about it. I want to know what that is. So let me know down below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.